Hello, my name is Qasem al -Rafi. I am the Customer Support Representative and the Power BI Specialist here for the iTrack 365 team. I am back with another video tutorial, this time on risk assessments and how we link it to our Power BI. So to begin, um, just a little prelude, there is pre-potential um, and actual risk or whatever the verbiage your company uses. For today's example, we will just be going over post countermeasure risk assessment, and in the Power BI, we'll be showing you know, how we visualize that using a pre risk assessment. But they all work the same way. So, to begin, you open the field, and we see here that we have impact of asset, impact of community, impact of environment, impact of people. Um, for the most part, you have the ability to select multiple, but you only really need to select one. And then you know it usually goes most severe, so you know lost more than a million dollars, so you know least severe is negligible. And as you go down, you see probability. How likely is this to occur? So you know we're going to start with example here. You know a little oil spilt as you were transporting it. It's a reasonably prob probable event. You hit OK and it's given a score of four, low and reasonably probable. But then let's say move over to you know a lost time incident. Um, let's say there was, you know, uh, a fire on site and, you know, your coworker was unfortunately stuck inside that room, but he got out with a lot of burns on his bodies and he has to take time off to let it heal. You know, we put that as a lost time incident and, you know, it was a reasonably probable event. We see here that it automatically changes to a high and reasonably probable um, risk. All right, so for this example, we're going to click save, let it save, and then your HSC manager is aware that this incident happened and what the risk of it is. Obviously, your company will have a bit more uh, descriptions depending on you know, what classifies as negligible, classifies as this and that, and that is all customizable. Now in Power BI, we show this using a simple risk matrix. This risk matrix is four by four, but we can change it uh, to be five by five, five by six, six by four, whatever your company uses, we have the ability to change as well as well as the titling at the bottom. But then we go and we see, okay, let's go to the category. We only want to see you know, the, the low risks, right? So as you can see, all the orange and red automatically became um, blanked out and you only see the, the green ones. If I were to click medium, the orange show high, the red show. So we're gonna look at the highest incidents because these are the most, uh, the ones that to keep the most attention of. We see at the bottom, the table filters as well. So we see there's one and one, and we have one and one. You now we see we have an equipment property damage and an injury hazard. If I select this one, we see that this one was critically and reasonably probable. It tells the little description, then we're able to you know, open up the form link, and that will actually link us back to the portal here, and you're able to read and see a bit more description of the incident itself. You can also filter by date, right? And the table as well as the risk matrix will um, respond automatically, right? And we're also able to change it by probability. And these slicers are able to be mixed and matched as well. I hope that helps. Thank you for joining today's tutorial. Uh, have a great day.